stuff or not? Out of my mind right now. <laughs> well, look who's here to spoil my day. A free star ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? This is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Oh, I'm listening with rapt attention, deputy. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? All I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I, I guess I didn't. It's not that simple. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? That's what I get for trying to be nice, eh? Sorry, but I can't. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first, and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech, and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery, and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this line of work. Besides, I'm going out on a high note. Ain't many can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Deck. Should make a good story for the kids one day. You didn't see anything.
restart collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. All right, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. Who it is? Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great. But at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from this starship thief? Well done, Deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I serve with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I could give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Like what? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. 
I'll send them an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, deputy. Blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Hey, what can I do for you? About a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to you. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a dust wrangler's cousin, Sam Coe. Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be, what, nine, ten years old by now? I wish. She's twelve. Almost a teenager? My goodness. And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. So, are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Well... Back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Now just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a 
glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here. But I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone. If you were thinking about going into medicine, just be I'll see what really I can do. sure before you well, commit. Ever run into Mr. Spacers? Miller's capable really? hands. Scumbags and scavengers. Anything else? They're like vultures models. picking away at the leftovers of the colony war. You'll find them scouring through old labs and facilities, taking whatever's not nailed down. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier, huh? Uh, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but do you know what was wrong with her? That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. Anyone would be qualified to run any other hospital in the settled systems. Okay, give me just a minute here. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. You're welcome to use the Ranger Station Terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. You had a chance to talk to Dr. Kessin. I'm no hypochondriac, but maybe we limit our time oh, this here. Is my private room? With all the sick Please people. Leave. Excuse me. What gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. Well, I suppose I can give you a minute. Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. <sighs> I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was two days ago. Well, the nature of my work requires a certain level of discretion much as yours does. I've shared all that I'm willing to share with you, Deputy. I 
I'd like to tell you, I really would. Not my problem. You're wasting my time. I can see that you still have doubts. If you don't believe me, then ask Mr. Miller at the desk. He can verify who I am and how I came to be here. Pain's finally starting to get why, hello. Are you here to keep me company? I, I do hope so. I can't get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just chat for a while. Ranger business? Oh, I can't imagine what... Unless you're here to track down that no-account husband of mine, that is. You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while, but no. All I so hire some help, I tell him. And then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Ugh. Should we maybe, you know, move things along here, ma'am? You want to talk about questions, uh-huh. I have got no end of pains, headaches, sore knees. I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus. But these fool doctors can't figure it out. I've had test after test for three months straight, and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here. Well, no, I, I suppose not. At least not yet. But don't be surprised if I do. Once they figure out this alien parasite or virus or, or whatever it is that's gotten into me. Oh, so you're...